Hello, beloved. This is Lainey Love beaming in the cosmic creatrix of the Sacred Revolution Oracle. And I wanted to come in today to do a special reading for the new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And knowing that this is such a potent portal and it's the last of a series of eclipses in Gemini and Sagittarius that are ending before we move into 2022 with eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio, as well as our North and South nodes transitioning into Taurus and Scorpio. So this is a big shift in, in energies. It's a big moment of expansion. Sagittarius energy is the truth seeker, the quester, the adventurer, the philosopher. I've got four planets in Sagittarius, so I really feel this energy. It's a very big moment. And today we just started the, the five-day Sacred Revolution Global Festival, which is a five day healing journey and oracular celebration with over 30 global luminaries be sure to check it out uh, below in the description and join us if you feel called but it's definitely a, a big moment Sagittarius is associated with Jupiter and Jupiter is the planet of expansion it's like a magnifying glass so anything that Jupiter touches or shines on it just whoo, it amplifies it and so this is a, a moment of amplification of your intentions and your prayers. And so, you know, they, they say that a new moon, all new moons are for setting intentions and really planting those seeds deeply in the earth of, of your prayers and intentions. But in an eclipse portal, it's amplified a thousand times. So just allowing yourself to tap into that energy and that medicine. And so I wanted to do a reading from the Sacred Revolution Oracle. And I felt called to pull one card from each of the five sections of the oracle and so we're going to go through each one and then I'm going to weave them all together in how they are showing up at this time. So the card that I pulled from the remember coming home to the body section of the oracle is card number four which is energetic womb level nourishment. And so I just want to give you a moment here to take in the medicine. And I'm going to share each one first before I really dive in. So energetic womb level nourishment. And the card from the rewild coming home to Mother Earth is card 17, which is the whispers of the sacred winds. Taking that medicine in, that hawk medicine. And the card from Reweave, returning home to our human family. This is the Wield Your Fierce Sword of Discernment card. Just taking that in. From the Return, Coming Home to the Web of All Life, this is the Cosmic Tree of Life card. Number 37. And finally, the rebirth coming home to our authentic star power is Ignite Your Revolutionary Potential, card 48. This feels very Sagittarius, this card to me, with all of that fire and that energy, just a really upward momentum expansion. So I'm gonna dive in here to the cards and you know, first of all, what I'm really seeing is this is a big time of expansion. We have the, the feathered ones that are here, the eagle, as well as this hawk condor energy. And this card of the whispers of the sacred winds is really, it is a card of limitless potential. It is a card of massive expansion, high level expansion 
It is a card of the 30,000 foot view. So really being able to take that 30,000 foot view to hold a fierce vision of what it is that you want to bring forward, what world you're calling forward, what is the new earth, what do you want that to look like, what do you want your new year to look like in 2022. So really getting clear and bringing forward a vision that allows you to connect to that greater web of all life and a vision that is going to support you in stepping into to your revolutionary potential. And so this is a time of really tapping into and, and calling in that higher vision, your intentions for your highest and best good, for your revolutionary potential, for your capacity to sparkle shamelessly lit up by the Sagittarius fire. And that this is also a time of metamorphosis because as you can see, there are several butterflies that are present. There's one here, there's one here. So we have lots of butterfly medicine. There's also one in this card. So really calling in the metamorphosis that is possible now, fierce metamorphosis coming into a whole new way of being. But this card is also about grounded sustainability. And mixed with this energetic womb level nourishment card, that's really showing me that there is a deep need for us to be deeply grounded now, deeply sustained, deeply nourished as we go on this journey of holding our vision, expanding into the next level of who we're here to be. It, it needs to be done in a way that is, that is highly sustainable, that is rooted, that is centered, that is grounded, and that has fierce discernment because this wielding this fierce sort of discernment means we have to be very mindful of our energies. Where are we putting our energies? Where are we putting our life force? And the thing that I love the most about this energetic womb level nourishment card, and I believe we all have an energetic womb regardless of our gender. And so the, the hummingbirds are here in this card. And hummingbirds are so powerful because they memorize thousands of flowers and they only go back to the flowers that nourish them the most. They also have the largest hearts for the animal of their size because they take such long, extraordinary journeys. And so we're on this long, extraordinary journey to live into our revolutionary potential now, truly as an individual, as individuals, but also as a collective, as we gather together to really birth and co-create this new earth and to really bring heaven on earth here now. It's one of the reasons we're doing the Sacred Revolution Global Festival right now because it is a time of revolution and a revolution of love and reverence for our bodies, for the earth, for each other and the web of all life. And this card, you know, it's from coming home to the body. So there's this real essential need for us to remember how to nourish ourselves because we live in a world that is very abusive to the physical body, the dieting industry, the mass media, especially if you're a female bodied person, constantly being told, you don't look right, you need to dress this way, you need to lose weight, this, that, and the other, instead of this true acceptance of, I love my body and my form just as I am, and this is what nourishes me. It's not some fad diet that the world is telling me that I need. It's not some instruction coming from the outside world. It's a true deep listening, soul listening within, ecstatic listening of, ah, oh, yes, this this nourishes me, this feeds me, this is food for my soul, for my essence, for who I'm here to be, for who I'm here to become as I step into my revolutionary potential. And she's here with this fierce sword of discernment to really say, you know, sacred no. This is, the sword is the sacred no. So when you find something that you know it's a no, no, you bring down that sword, you say no if it is not in service to you and your nourishment and your highest and best good. But what that allows you is the embodied holy hell yes! When you want something and feel something so strongly in every cell of your being that you know that it is a yes! And you call that in. So I invite you with this card to really consider today in these new moon energies, in this portal, which is going to be for several more days. So you have time if you're not listening to this on the new moon eclipse portal precisely 
it's, it's really an opportunity for you to really feel in. What do you need to say no to now? And what are you calling in? What are you saying that holy hell yes to? What are you bringing in that's going to create that grounded sustainability for you? What's going to help you create that metamorphosis in your life to the next version of who you are to become? And the peacock feather is here, which is a symbol of alchemical healing. And we're actually each day doing a live healing ritual as part of the global festival. And we're tapping into that peacock energy, that alchemical healing medicine to help us transmute what is no longer serving in the flames, transmuting in those Sagittarius flames so we can can dance into this next version of ourselves so we can dance into our expansion and our fullest potential that is here and the serpent is present the serpent is shedding all that no longer serves so that you can truly be in your full essence your full potential now and in your truth because Sagittarius at its core is about truth so what is your most authentic true essence, the raw core of who you are and who you're here to be. That is the energy to really tap into and to hold that fierce vision of that, even when you don't see it. And I love this card because this card also really speaks to my own personal mission and vision that I have been holding for over a decade, which is co-creating a constellation of millions of star beings that are sparkling shamelessly for the good of all to help flood the house of humanity with light, love, and healing. That's one of the reasons I created this Oracle deck now. And it's, you know, really holding that fierce vision and then doing the things we need to do to ground that in reality, to ground it in reality now. And in the center here is the Sri Yantra. And this is really a symbol of union and union of our divinity, of our humanity, of all of our aspects of self, and really rooting in to the truth of who we are as spiritual beings, having a human experience, knowing that can be deeply challenging, especially in the last couple of years and moving into what, you know, is debatable, uh, the Pluto return of the US, whether it's next year or in a couple of years, there's, there's some debate around that. But, you know, we are nonetheless moving with some very challenging material on the 3D realm and the human realm. And so really calling in and pulling down, not only like pulling down as if we have roots in our crown, pulling down that wisdom of our divinity into our humanity as we pull up that energy from the earth, as if we have roots above and below. And both of those energies are coming in, streaming into our body and uniting in a sacred union in our heart as we walk as divine love in the world. So this is really priming us for that so that we can step into our revolutionary potential because at the top here is the rose, which is the highest frequency vibration of love. And you see her here at the top. She's in this deep expression of ecstasy. She is in her ecstatic embodiment. So as this Oracle deck is so much about, as we root deeply into our essence, into our truth, into our homecoming, into who we're here to be, we can start to rise, this rising energy, and shine and soar in the world. That bird, the winged ones that are there soaring and shining in our ecstatic embodied leadership, in the fullness of our essence and expression and who we're here to be. And that's really such a great potentiality of these cards, but we have to remember that in order to do so, we must be deeply nourished. We must be nourished at a foundational level. Four is the number of foundation. And so we must be nourished at this deep foundational level, at the core of our being, and to know what that is and to nourish our hearts, our bodies, our spirits, so that we are truly aligned with our highest and best good as we move forward into our revolutionary potential, as we use that fire of this Sagittarius portal that is amplified a thousand times to ignite us truly, fully into who we're here to be. Carpe diem sees the day in the guidebook of the Oracle with this card is the top five deathbed regrets. And the top deathbed regret is I wished I had lived a life that was true to myself instead of one that others said that I should live. 
So it's about living in your truth and that is Sagittarius energy. So how can you in this portal really claim how to live in your truth now, in your power to make the choice for you to discern with that fierce sword of discernment, your truth, who you're here to be and to live into that in a way that is deeply nourishing, that is deeply rooted and grounded and sustainable because the sustainable burn is important when you're dealing with this much fire. Because if you burn too bright, too fast, too hard for too long, you're gonna burn out. <laughs> so we have to have that ground and sustainability, that deep nourishment. And I know that being that I have so much Sagittarius energy, that's an ongoing challenge to really shine bright and sparkle shamelessly, which is the medicine that I carry and transmit and transmute, but without burning out. And so, you know, cooling practices are really helpful with that when there's a lot of fire. So if you start to feel an intense, intense amount of fire from this Sagittarius eclipse portal, bring in the water. The water is also present here, these cooling energies of water, whether that's blessing a glass of water and drinking it and really seeing and feeling that cool water nourishing every cell of your body, whether it's actually getting into water and soaking yourself and your body. Maybe it's taking a cool shower or just splashing your face with cool water. Or maybe it's even using a crystal like Larimar, which is actually this beautiful blue crystal. It's very, very helpful to, um, to really support those that have both fire and water energies and want to find a balance of those energies. It's one of my favorite crystals because I also have a lot of Scorpio and uh, Pisces energy. And so, you know, that water and fire can get very, <laughs> also with my Leo and these other things. So, um, so really, again, looking at ways that you can be nourished on this journey of stepping into your fullness and igniting your revolutionary potential with this fire and holding that vision. So the inquiries that I would really invite you into for this new moon portal is what is the vision that you are calling forward now? That highest vision, that truth-seeking vision of the Sagittarius energy. And, you know, how can you really ground that vision into reality in a sustainable way, in a deeply sustainable way? And what do you need to be nourished for this journey at a deep level, core, fundamental level of your being? And where do you need to bring in that energetic discernment? What do you need to say no to right now so that you can bring in that holy hell yes? I know you know the one, the one you feel in every cell of your body and you're just, yes! Ah! Ah! <laughs> just like her here at the top of this card. So really feeling in and discerning that for yourself in this portal to help support you as you move forward and as we move into 2022, uh, because there's very potent energies that are going to continue to be moving and shifting and, you know, really honoring our ecstatic embodiment at this time, especially as we move into the North Node and Taurus. The body is going to be so important. And I know probably many of you have been feeling the intensity on the body level since that full moon in Taurus. I know many people that were in severe accidents, um, that had many body things coming up, health challenges, unexpected diagnoses, all kinds of things coming in in that portal on the physical plane, the very physical body level. And so really bringing this light energy, this fire energy to that now to help transmute any of those energies and what isn't in service and to know that even when we are in this space of deep challenge even when there are unexpected things coming at us left right and center that we still have the capacity to choose we have the capacity to choose what is possible and to believe in our limitless potential and the expansion that is here for us individually and collectively, knowing this is a time of collective metamorphosis that we are in. The butterfly, we are in that chrysalis still as a collective and we don't yet know what our butterfly wings are gonna be. We don't yet know what color we're gonna be, but the imaginal cells are there underneath the surface in the black goo and they are forming, they are whispering, they are telling secrets of what they desire to be, what the vision is of, of what they wanna look like, how they wanna soar in the world. 
So what is your own internal butterfly, the imaginal cells that are dancing around in the cocoon? What are they whispering about you and your future? What are they whispering about your potentiality and who you're here to be? What are they whispering about what you're meant to look like and how you're meant to show up and how you're meant to unfurl your radiant holographic wings and soar into 2022? So I will leave you with that, beloveds, to ponder and to sit with and to really take that time to nourish yourself. I, I do believe we're moving into a phase of deep nourishment and prioritizing pleasure in a lot of ways, really being in a space of deep ecstatic embodiment of really that sacred pleasure and the power that that brings into our lives to privilege that no longer these old paradigms and old ways of working, of forcing the body, of forcing beyond our points of exhaustion or when we're tired or, you know, when we can't go on any longer. It's really a pulling back and leaning into the rhythms and cycles, which are in both of these cards of the moon, leaning into the rhythms and cycles of the moon, of the cosmos, of that greater web of all life and that greater dance so that we can have that fierce discernment and know when, how to show up. And I love that there's a fierce cat jaguar back here because the, the big cats, they are such great reminders of how to rest. They are resting and luxuriating and in pleasure about 60% of the time, you know, sort of laying around, licking themselves, just luxuriously relaxing and enjoying life so that when the time comes, so that when they need to show up, they show up and they, they pounce. They know exactly when, how, they know where to channel their energy. They focus it like the sword, clear. And so bringing that level of rest and nourishment and pleasure so that when it's time for us to show up, to do the work, to ignite our full potential, to be the fire in the world, to transmute what's no longer serving, to be the force of metamorphosis, to be the change we wish to see, that will be possible because we will be so nourished. We will be so grounded. We will be so centered. We will be so sustained and we will be so clear in our vision that there will be nothing that can stop us from truly stepping into the fullness of who we are, who we're here to be now and letting that Sagittarius fire ignite us to our fullest potential for the good of all. That's the transmission for today, beloveds. Enjoy sending so much love. If you'd like to deepen in with the Sacred Revolution Oracle, please come and join us for the Sacred Revolution Global Festival. We have over 30 global luminaries, which are each, they were each assigned a card and they're interpreting the card with an offering of their own medicine. So there's songs, there's ecstatic embodiment, there's movement practices, there's meditations, visualizations, sex magic. I mean, it's juicy. AF. <laughs> so come get in it. Enjoy it. It's free to join us. And the link is below. And each day we're doing a live healing ritual as well with each of the, uh, the parts of the oracle. So today we did a journey of remembering and coming home to the body. Tomorrow is going to be coming home to the earth. So we'd love to see you there and to maximize these energies because they're potent. It's a potent portal. So let's do this. Let's ignite a sacred revolution of love and reverence for the body, for the earth, for each other. Let us remember, let us come home to what matters most because that is what this card is about bringing forward and focusing on the truth and the heart of what matters most and living into that now, living into our fullest potential for the good of all. We'll see you soon, beloveds. Bye for now.